Hey, what's happening, guys? This is the uh, last review I'm going to do for a while. This is the <clears throat> Pearl Charger. And it will be out on Kickstarter this month. Uh, no price released yet. You can see it is a four port USB charger. There's a, uh, like a 2.1 millimeter input jack on the back. And it takes from 7 to 17 volts. So it, you can use this um, with an AC adapter, LiPo battery. Put it in your car. It's uh, pretty cool. As you can see, the four ports are each marked 2.7 amps. And that's 2.7 amps per port simultaneously for a total of 10.8 amps. Now, each of these ports is a completely isolated separate channel. So a short on one will not affect the others. It has intelligent device detection, so it detects and optimizes the charging speed by adopting your device's charging scheme. And as you'll see later, it has this really nice integrated watt meter. Again, I said uh, voltage from 7 to 17 volts. And it can over I mean, it can withstand overcurrent, dead short, ESD. And that's really nice that it's ESD protected. I'm looking for the specs here. Yeah, okay. Plus or minus 8 kilovolts contact, 12 kilovolts air gap, or a 400 watt surge. And all the ICs inside are equipped with independent thermal shutdown. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. It is aluminum top and bottom and then layers of FR4 inside so we're, yeah we're definitely going to test this out but first I think we got to take it apart looks like a Torx Torx bit let's try this guy right here too small next size up Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that is a two millimeter. I like the construction of this. I like I like the way they did it. It seems to be a relatively easy to access. Just these four screws and we should be able to get her all apart. Let's see what she's made of. There we go. All right, I'm going to take these screws out. We'll be back. I like the screws. They're a nice, fine-pitched... I believe these are called bugle head machine screws. A little over 3 8 inch. Long... All right, let's lift her off here. And there's a look inside the the lid. We you can see we have the aluminum goodness here. And then we have these FR4 layers, and here are some light pipes for the LEDs. So let's have a closer look inside. All right, so here's the inside. And if we start up here at the top, we can see our power input. We got a big diode over here. Have another diode. Resistor, actually a jumper. It's like a voltage regulator there. Our reset button, our watt meter. And this guy here is an AT tiny. So that's the brains of the operation. Now these little square chips are labeled 2549T16B1 and I can't find anything on them whatsoever. Now these other 8 pin chips here are AP65453 which is a 4 amp 18 volt 650 kilohertz adaptive step down converter 
made by Diodes Incorporated. So that's our that's our buck converter. Then we have some passive supporting circuitry there. Nice big inductors and our output. And that's it. We have no way to get that off. So that's a look at the insides of her. And this is this is quite well made. Very nice. All right, I'm going to put it back together and we'll test it out. I got it back together. I want to give you guys a look at the charge adapter that comes with it. Let's see if we can zoom in here. AC DC switching adapter. Output 15 volt, 4 amp. And that's a that's a hefty cord. That's about five or six millimeters so all right let's plug it in and then we'll power it up see that's the yinzer way to say power power like our old coach bill cower car or former president of the united states dwight d eisenhower if you want to talk more like a Yenzer, you just put an S on the end of all names. Like a famous Pittsburgh newscaster, Sally Wiggin. If you're a Yenzer, you call her Sally Wiggins. <laughs> Alright, so in this jack here, I'm going to put this USB Type-C adapter. And I'll plug in this power bank. And it fires up. And you can see it's drawing 9.6 watts. That's impressive. I'll put a micro USB adapter here. And get out my wireless earbuds. They need charge because I use them all day today. Plug that guy in there. And finally, we'll put in the old load tester here. Right now we're at 8.6 watts. Put the load tester in. And I'll turn it up about halfway. And you can see we're drawing 16.5 watts. There's 18, 19. 19 watts and it's working flawlessly I'm gonna let this run for a couple minutes and we'll come back and see if it's warm or hot or what have we okay it's been up about five minutes and 19 watts output and it's really not even warm to the touch I'd say it's room temperature so I'm impressed this is a really nice charger in my opinion I think it would have a lot of applications I mean I'll tell you what I'm gonna use it for to throw at the next train that comes down the tracks no I'm just kidding I'm gonna use it as my uh, main home charger I mean wow that's really nice in an RV or a boat or a camper something like that you could run it off a battery charge all your devices at one time and remember each of the four channels is separate from the others so if something goes bad on one channel it won't affect the others so I want to thank Pearl Technologies for sending this out to us free of charge and it is a uh, pre-release this is going to go on Kickstarter sometime this month again I have no price to tell you guys I'll put a link down below to the website you can check it out again I like it man I give it a thumbs up and if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and share and don't forget to subscribe a big thank you to all my patrons big thank you to you for watching that's it I'm out peace